what is going on guys welcome to another tutorial video and today i'll be telling you guys how to install liveries any sort of liveries into microsoft flights in 2020 for specific aircraft for example here we have the beautiful a320 neo and as you can see we've got some custom liveries on here for those who play gta would recognize this anime by any time but other than that uh let's get straight into the tutorial it shouldn't be too long and definitely be no music because i'm sure a lot of you guys would be glad to hear that because i got a lot of hate for that one but other than that yeah let's get straight into the video as per usual guys i'll be leaving the link to websites at the top of the description and for this one i'll be going to flightsim.to for where we'll install our liveries uh definitely has a lot of liveries over i say 500 liveries for all these aircraft listed over here in the left so we can get any weird ones from amazon prime two wonderful pink anime girls on liveries so as i said there's hundreds literally hundreds for the airbus a320 especially so you can just go through and search so if you find any interesting ones so if i want to go for any ones like oh this one looks nice pretty nice just press on that can go down uh some of them you might have to sign up for but it's not the sign up isn't that big anyway it's nothing you don't have to do anything important like put in your postcode or whatever but yeah so you just want to click download It'll bring it to the screen, it'll install in five seconds. You just wait, and then once that five seconds is up, the download will begin. And once you're on the download and it's completed, because these are livery, so it shouldn't take that long, you just open them up. So, this is how it would be if you have WinRAR. So, really extract the folder. But if you have a zipped folder, all you want to do is simply right click, and then it will say something like extract file or something like that. So, once you've extracted the zip folder or unzipped it, you should get probably these two, for example, or it depends on who's made the aircraft um, livery. So you'll just get a main folder. You can read the text me, read, uh, you can read the readme, sorry, if you want to see how to do it. So literally it just says drag and drop into the Microsoft Flight Sim file. Um, so what we want to do is literally as it says, so you want to either right click and copy, you just copy the file to clipboard or something, or you can just open up the files here, one sec. All right, now one sec is up. Okay, now we're going to go straight into the community folder. So at the bottom of the description now, so from the top now at the bottom, um, I'm going to leave pathways to where you can find the community folder if you're either on Steam or from the Microsoft Store when you downloaded Flights in 2020. Um, so once you're in the community folder, what we want to do is simply get that folder that is unzipped, drag and drop, or as I said before, copy and paste, and then it would spawn in right here. So once the livery is in there, what we want to do is just close it, and then that's it. That's how you install liveries. So let's show you the results of the livery installed in the sim. All right, just to show you guys what these would look like in the hangar, just go simply here. This is one of the liveries I installed. If you know Princess Bubblegum, then you're a legend from GTA 5. So simply just want to go to liveries. So usually when you're spawning in your aircraft and you choose your liveries, all the download deliveries, well, most of them will turn up at the end of the list. So don't worry if you're scrolling through like, oh no, where is it? It's usually at the end here. So you can see we've got all the liveries that I've installed earlier and so on. So yeah, that is the basically the end of the tutorial right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it was very simple and fast. And hopefully I'll be able to see you guys at the next tutorial. I will be uploading a lot of tutorials this week. Um, just so you guys just have the chance to explore what my channel is like on the tutorial side. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the next live stream or tutorial. Peace. And now folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.